Hello! Kumusta? Alam kong marami sa atin ay feeling vacation pa. Subalit, kailangan na nating magpatuloy sa ating mga pag-aaral. Yung iba naman ay namimiss na ang mga classrooms nila. Hayaan ninyong ibalik ko kayo sa ating mga classrooms kahit na virtual lamang. Tara! Ang bilis lang, no? Hayaan ninyong ito muna ang ating gamitin pansamantala habang hindi pa tayo pwedeng bumalik sa ating mga eskwela. Now that you are ready to discuss our new lesson, let me introduce to you our new topic. Types of electronics, hand tools, and equipments. Let's start with this thinking. One of the most important tasks of a technician is to prepare the tools and equipment that are needed for the task given to him or her. You need to know the classification of tools and equipment based on their uses and function. Let's define the following words first. Hand tool. A tool held in the hand and operated without electricity or other power. Ito ay mga kasangkapan na ginagamitan ng ating mga kamay na hindi na kailangan lagyan pa o gamitan pa ng kuryento. Ito yung mga madali nating mahawakan and then makakatulong na siya upang magawa natin ng ating mga trabaho o gagawin. Equipment A tool that is actuated by an additional force and mechanism other than the solely manual labor used with hand tools. Ito naman ay mga kasangkapan na kailangan ng kuryente or additional force, karagdagang pwersa, para mas matadali ang isang gawain. The soldering tool. The process of removing or unsoldering unwanted parts or components in the circuit will need the support of the soldering tool. Kung tayo ay naghihinang, tayo ay nagsasoldering. Subalit, Ang kabaligtaran naman nito o ang pagtanggal ng mga hininang o ikinabit na piyesa sa isang sirkito ay kakailanganin natin ng mga desoldering tool. Ito yung mga pangtanggal ng mga piyesang ikinabit natin doon. Printed Circuit Board or PCB a PCB is a thin board made of fiberglass, composite epoxy, or other laminated material. Conductive pathways are etched on printed onto the board, connecting different components on the PCB, such as transistors, resistors, and integrated circuit. Ang printed circuit board ang kinakabitan ng mga components para mabuo ang isang sirkito. Kung walang printed circuit board, sila ay maaring nakalutang habang nagkakadikit. Dahil sa board, madali nitong nagagawang maayos ang takbo ng kuryente sa mga components ng nakahiga or nakapwesto magkakatabi lamang. Troubleshooting Finding the cause of the problem Identifying and repairing faults in equipment. If there is a problem in a circuit, we have to find the source of it. And one way on finding it is by troubleshooting the circuit. Ito ay ang paghahanap na naging sanhi ng problema kung bakit hindi gumagana ang isang sirkito. Kung baga, may problema siya at kailangan malunasan. Bago mo siya malunasan, kailangan mo munang malocate 
or mahanap ang pinagmumulan ng problema nito. Driving tools. Oh no, not that kind of driving. This time, driving tools means a hand tool used for loosening and fastening screws. Want to see some sample of it? Screwdrivers. A tool used to drive or turn screws. The common type as a single flat blade for driving screws with slotted heads. The other type has the cross slotted head. Phillips screwdrivers. Used to drive or fasten positive slotted screws. Flat screwdrivers. Is used to driven or fasten negative slotted screws. Let's watch this video showing the features of screwdrivers. Remember this. To tighten it, turn it clockwise. To loosen, turn it counterclockwise. Ito ang mga paraan paano gamitin ang screwdriver. Jewelers Screwdriver Set or Precision Screwdrivers is a set of small screwdrivers composed of flat and Phillips screwdrivers. Ito yung maliliit or maninipis na klase ng screwdriver na ginagamit pang bukas ng maliliit din ng mga tornilyo. Kadalasan, yung mga gumagawa ng relo na may mga maliliit na tornilyo o yung gumagamit ng mga, uh, gumagawa ng mga cellphone, ito ang kanilang ginagamit. Dahil kapag malaking screwdriver ang ginamit mo, maaaring mabungi o malus kagad ang screw. So, para hindi sila malustre dagad o mabungi yung kanyang uh, slot, gagamitan mo sila ng akmang screwdriver para sa kanila. Here are some features of the precision screwdrivers. Remember to tighten, turn it clockwise. And to loosen, turn it counterclockwise. The same principles are being applied with the ordinary screwdrivers. Let's talk about soldering tools, a hand tool used for soldering job process. Ito yung mga kailangan natin gamitin kapag tayo ay naghihinang o may pagdidigiting mga components. Soldering iron is a device for applying heat to melt soldering lead so that it can flow into the joint between two metal parts. 
in electronics, it is used to solder electronic components and wire to the printed circuit board. The preferable soldering iron for soldering process on PCB is about 20 to 30 watts. Inside the solder lead core is a flux, a material which improves electrical contact and its mechanical strength of the lead to the component or board being soldered. Let's watch this video clip showing the parts of the soldering iron. That's a tip. That is the protective pipe covering the heater. And that is the handle and the cord. The second one is soldering tool stand. This is a tool where the soldering iron is placed during usage to avoid the accident and flammable materials. It is a stand that often comes with sponge used in cleaning the tip or head of the soldering iron. Ang nakikita nyo ngayon ay isang typical na itsura ng isang soldering tool stand. Maraming version na ang lumabas nito. At ito ay mahalaga upang maiwasan natin ang aksidente or pagkapaso habang ginagamit natin ang soldering iron. Kung meron tayong pagsusuksukan nito, makakaiwas tayo na makadikit sa mga natutunaw or na umaapoy na bagay na nasa paligid natin habang tayo ay gumagawa or naghihinang. In this video, you can see a soldering iron stand. It is placed and incorporated with a third hand tool with a magnifying glass. You see, the soldering iron is perfectly placed in the stand. The third one is soldering pump or the soldering tool. Is used in removing soldered wires and electronic components on printed circuit boards for troubleshooting and repair purposes. Ito yung pangtanggal natin ng mga hinang or mga dikit ng tingga sa ating printed circuit board. Kapag ininit na natin yung tingga na nasa board, lalambot na yon. At doon na pwede natin siyang higupin ng pump na ito. Ang tamang proseso ng paggamit ay makikita natin sa susunod na video. Ang pinakaginagawa nito ay hinihigup niya ang tunaw na tingga upang matanggal ito sa printed circuit board or dun mismo sa component na ating hininang. Ito ang actual na itsura ng soldering pump. Yan ang pindutan. Itutulak muna ang uh, lever na nasa dulo ng pump upang ito ay may karoon ng sanction effect. And then, pipindutin ngayon ang pindutan sa gitna at magkakaroon siya ng pwersa na kayang higupin ang lead kapag ito ay tunaw na. Yan ang pindutan. Well, that's all for today. Naubusan na naman tayo ng oras. We discuss the other types on another day. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel and hit that notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod nating videos. 
If you have some questions or may mga gustong topic na i-feature natin dito, feel free to comment below and please share this video to your fellow learners. Until next time, see ya!